Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. In this episode, reverse or inverse kinematics. What's inverse kinematics, you ask? Basically, that is the scientific term of saying leg placement or fleet placement when it comes to video games. So as you can see in this here uh, clip here, um, I've got my, my urban mech. I've turned it away from the camera so you can see the legs a lot better. So you can actually see, here we go, that's actually a lot better, that the left leg here you can see my my mouse, which is pretty nice, eh? So right here, my left leg is currently clipping through, while well, the right leg is perfectly fine. Now with reverse kinematics or inverse kinematics, this leg technically would be going up and over, so the foot would actually be up here. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's pretty easy. You just code it so that you know they check to see where the floor is, and they just kind of set themselves up like that. Fortunately, that's not quite as as easy as it looks. What happens to happen is from now mind you everything i'm doing is reading from second hand because i'm not a programmer like that but there's a lot of mathematical formulas that have to go into this basically the model here or even the computer calculating the angle it actually has to put the knee in the leg um, i'm actually going to bring up a thing here real quick uh one second inverse kinematics Go shift delete in games. So inverse kinematics, or AKA two joint uh, placement of the feet, right? It's technically not too hard to do. So we got multiple different little pictures that I'm going to bring up on the screen here. Uh, it's going to take me a second to save these pictures to get these pictures up. Uh, let's save it as a bitmap. I'll save you as a bitmap. And save you as a bitmap as well. So first off, so people think this is really easy, right? I mean, come on. It's just putting in some collision detection, saying to the module or even the, the, the back end, if the foot is placed here and you see the ground being here, move the foot to here type thing, right? So have the foot instead of being down here as the ground, this is now the ground and the foot should now be here. Technically, yes. Technically, no. Uh, I'm going to show a picture here. Image. Uh, let's see here. Whoops. Uh, we're going to go to pictures. Here we go. So first thing. This is kind of generically what it should be doing. Right? So there we go. So what we're looking at right now is... How things should be so if I use my technology here as you can see there were the leg up axis is versus the pelvis joint right so on our urban mech here the pelvis joint is right here now the leg here which is we'll say the the bread where it or the blue where it shouldn't be technically right so what it has to do is that actually has to calculate the angle uh, basically the pelvis joint to the target position. So the foot, right? So it has to target this location here versus this location. So it has to decide what's this angle, what's the distance, what's the distance between my knee or my hip, my hip, my knee, and then my knee to my foot. Then what do I have to modify this joint and bring up this way and create this, basically this obtuse angle to create a proper knee, a uh, proper knee position so that my foot is technically in the right position. So, it has to do a lot of things, right? It has to calculate lengths, distances, speed. Uh, the faster you're running, right, the quicker it has to process this. Um, it has to calculate angle as well. So, if this isn't even, um, you know, it, it's going to be pretty hard, right? Especially in a position like this, it, you know, it, it might end up just pushing you to the right instead, just like pushing you off. Now, I'm going to show you um, an example of some of the mathematical formulas utilized for calculating this. There is one of them. Well, let's make that a little smaller so you can actually see it. So there it is right there. Basically, what you're doing here is you're trying to find a solution where you basically can close the position or position the foot properly where it's supposed to be so you have to minimize the angle which is o uh basically you need to rotate a certain uh, certain vectors and obviously in this case the leg up and you know move rotate it up 
And you define the proper angle with the new vectors. So in the below equation, technically, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm reading this right, this is showing how to calculate it theoretically. Now, this isn't obviously how it could work in MechWarrior Online. This is actually using a different game altogether. Um, but basically, from what I'm what I've been reading it and looking at and things like that, basically what it does is it tells the computer what I want you to do. Actually, let's move this over. Let's move this out of the way a little bit here, just so we can look at it. So what this is basically saying is, it's trying to calculate the length of the thigh, the length of the calf, position of the knee, position of the ankle, and position of the hip, position of the ground, and works out all the proper angles and things like that. Now, mind you. I don't know this stuff all that great, but it's hard. <laughs> Anything with sine, cosine, and tangent, in my mind, automatically becomes ma like hard math. When you have to start working out math formulas for, for video games, um, that pretty much sucks, right? Now, there's an additional formula for the other part of all this. Um, Basically, for the way I worked it out, uh, we need to calculate, uh, calculate the you need to calculate like derivatives and minimum maximum values, so all sorts of other stuff, right? And here is another copy of another version, as well. Uh, which one is this? Uh, which one am I showing there? I believe this one is the other one. Yeah, it is. So here's the other formula to showing to calculate inverse kinematics. Mind you, these are generic formulas set up for different games, so they probably wouldn't even work. But this is, and also possibly even using a different engine. I don't actually have the engine that uh, these are from. Um, but nonetheless, right now, these are all also working on the 2D plane, not a 3D plane, right? So the 3D plane, you also have to worry about where the ankle sits, whether the ankle, where the ankle sits, um, whether it's up, down, if it's on a left angle, right angle, you know, what's going on, right? 45 degree angle to the right, 45 degree angle to the left, 3.4 degree angle to the right, and a 4.5 degree angle to the left. You don't know, right? So there's lots and lots of stuff to work at. So to be 100% honest with you, I am going to give PGI all the time they need to work this out because I can usually pick up on a lot of things and I can usually figure out a lot of things and understand the basics. <laughs> but while I'm looking at formulas like this saying, this is how you have to help calculate the you know, min-maxing of vectors and using equations to find the, the, the vector axis around the, the figure O angle and needing to utilize the equivalent angles of sine and using the vector of the coordination of the third angle of the... Fuck that shit. Seriously, fuck it. Um, I will give them all the time in the world. Because, to be 100% honest with you, a lot of games pretend to do this and fake it. Completely, utterly just fake it. Where basically, it just uses generic things and you'll notice your feet always go through. Because it's... it's They've, they, or, you know, they've, they've faked a lot of stuff, right? And I've been reading a lot about faked inverse kinematics and stuff like that where basically a company fix it so it looks like it but they've actually just added animations into legs so it looks like it's actually working but technically it's not now the other thing that also has to take into effect is hitboxes um in this game specifically hitboxes in the legs very very important in my eyes so i have to make sure that it doesn't block one hitbox or another um, it has to make sure that it still take you can still take into effect hitboxes, right? So lots and lots of work that needs needs to be done, obviously, in reverse kinematics, and I will one hundred percent give PGI all the help, all all the time they need to go into IK and figure it out. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. I will see you guys acquired. next time. Bye bye. Sad urban mech.